Hi, welcome to my channel Selenium C Sharp Tutorials. Here I'll be uploading videos related to Selenium WebDriver solutions and operations that it can perform with Visual Studio using C Sharp as a scripting language. This is the first video of the series and in this video we will learn what is automation testing, what is Selenium, what is Selenium 2.0 or Selenium WebDriver and what are the differences between Selenium and Selenium WebDriver. After that we will see Selenium WebDriver integration with Visual Studio and also we will see an unit framework working with the project. What is automation testing? Automation testing is nothing but a testing that is done using a machine or a tool under specific conditions within a controlled environment. It reduces human factor, it takes less time and gives more accurate results. Automation testing compares expected and actual output by itself. It generates reports and capture screenshots for the executed test cases. What is Selenium? Selenium is a browser based functional automation testing tool. Basically Selenium is a set of tool such as Selenium ID, Selenium RC and Selenium Grid. We will not be discussing about these three tools over here since this tutorial is basically focused on Selenium WebDriver. Selenium can record and playback user actions. So Selenium has a functionality where a user performs his action on one web applications and Selenium records them. Once user, done, user is done with his actions, he can playback them through Selenium. Through Selenium, one can automate any web applications, but it is not possible to automate a desktop application with Selenium. Automation scripts can be written in Java, C Sharp, Ruby, PHP, HTML, etc. So if one has knowledge on any of these scripting language, basic knowledge, then one can use Selenium very easily. What is Selenium 2.0 or Selenium WebDriver? Basically, Selenium 2.0 or Selenium WebDriver is same. Selenium WebDriver is a second generation of its family. It provides the functionality which was not available in Selenium RC. It also does not depend on JavaScript core program where Selenium RC used to depend on. Selenium WebDriver can handle multiple iframes. It can perform drag and drop operations. It can perform multiple browser testing. It handles pop-ups, alerts and also it can be used for mobile app testing as well. What are the differences between Selenium and Selenium WebDriver? As you can see the diagram, here are three browsers, Internet Explorer, Firefox and Chrome. Below them is the Selenium remote control and below that is automation script that is written by a user or the one who is testing the application. Now automation script sends the commands to remote control server. Remote control server sends those commands to the browser where those commands are interacted with the JavaScript core program which is embedded in the browser and then sends that, that program sends instructions to the browser. Browser perform the operations, instructions are sent back to the embedded program, JavaScript core program, that sends response back to the remote control server and then that response is received by automation scripts and that is how our automation scripts tell us whether our program is failed or passed. Whereas in Selenium WebDriver, Selenium WebDriver directly interacts with the browser. It does not interact with the Selenium, it, sorry, it does not interact with the embedded JavaScript program. And this is the reason Selenium WebDriver Pro is faster than Selenium RC and performs many actions those are not possible with the Selenium RC. Now we will see Visual Studio integration with Selenium WebDriver. So in order to do this, if you do not already have installed Visual Studio in your machine, 
please download it from Microsoft website. You can download it from beta.visualstudio.com and install Visual Studio Community. Once it's downloaded, installed in your machine, open it, go to File, go to New, open the project, select Console Application, give any name to the application that you want, maybe give a uh, selenium web driver project and uh, give some name my test and say ok say Okay, it's already have the insulin dry project one two and then say okay now this project is not integrated with selenium web driver in order to do so first we'll have to go to tools go to nuget package manager go to manage nuget packages for solution go to browse type selenium dot web driver select select the project you wanted to associate with so remember this selenium web driver will work only with this project so if you are creating any other new project then again you will have to integrate selenium web driver with that project it is not if you have once integrated it will work for all the projects no for every project that you create you will have to integrate it with the selenium web driver click on install button say ok once done, go to program C, use using open QA dot selenium using open QA dot selenium dot IE. I am using IE over here. You can use any browser that you want you can use safari firefox you can use opera and chrome as well iweb driver getting a variable getting ob object uh, web driver to new And then go to the, some URL dot navigate type some address maybe www dot google dot com and save it build the solution. build now run it as you can see we have opened google now we'll close this page we'll close this as well now you see our test case has been run and passed but we do not know now first what you do you go to test go to test windows and say text explorer you will see a pen open on the left hand side now there is no project we can't see any test over here okay so in order to do to achieve that go to my test solution right click add new item add a class give it some name say and U N I T dot C S. Edit. Now here we will use N unit framework and see how that will get added to the test case explorer. Test explorer. 
so in order to do that again go to tools go to NuGet package manager and go to manage NuGet packages for solution once open type n unit framework go down and unit framework my test install say ok finished now add an unit adapter now go down and an unit test adapter install say ok it will take few minutes done now go to go back to an unit dot cs now add using and unit dot framework here go get object of web drive class i web and for that we'll have to add using open qa dot selenium using open qa dot selenium dot ie i web driver web driver new internet pillar driver uh, I would say let it be like it here and then create test sorry set up and then initialize the internet explorer so public void browser web driver test so under test we can write any number of test method that we want so here I'll write only one test and say webdriver dot navigate dot go to and www dot google dot com then tear down it so public void close browser and web driver dot close so under test we can write any number of test method that you want to execute and with each and every test setup and tear down will execute it, it, uh, setup will initialize the browser and tear down will, will close the browser once done save it go to build 
build the solution now as you can see one solution is built you can see test unit appears over here so go to the test right click and say run test and as you can see our test case is passed so like this we can add any number of test cases under test so this is all i had in this video for today if you have any suggestion please leave a comment hope you liked it so please do not forget to subscribe and like this channel thank you very much